This video is the Midland 77104D. Now we've done the range test uh, on the air with the 77104UK and it was loud and clear all the way. I don't think the receivers work as well on the D version. This is it. Let's see whether Mr C is out there six miles away and can hear us. What he'll be able to hear is whether we can hear him. The real good thing about both these sets, both the D and the UK, do a full 4 watts, no problem. Tango 21 calling Mr C, do you copy? Good, well I can hear you loud and clear, and if you'd like to proceed back towards Tango Towers. So, the other Richard is setting off from six miles away, the wrong side of a hill, and he's going to be heading towards base here. Roger on that, uh, with raw speed level crossing, I am receiving you, but uh, it was giving me no S points, which just proves it is slightly deafer than the other set over. Well, the transmit between the sets is absolutely identical. It's the receiver at this end, which is slightly inferior on this radio over. It's also uh, notable at this end that the squelch doesn't perform as well. I don't know whether I've picked up some electrical interference at this end uh, between the two tests or whether uh, or what, but I've got a bit of a, uh, a background noise, but it's nothing to do with uh, the test over. So let me know when you pass the road which is the Kelby one over. Oh, that was very good. You could take up yodelling. That means he's now five miles away and heading towards us. Now this is a radio that we've actually owned from new and it was uh, installed in my late mother's car. So unlike the previous one, the 104 UK, uh, this hasn't really been um, thrashed. Clearly the other one sat in a in a farm vehicle for the last 10 years. Though you will note there are some holes in the lid because we had it on quite a low profile slide mount. That was a time when we were experimenting a bit with the CPT band stuff and had the identical CPT Wilson level classic crossing loud and clear and you'll be heading towards Smokey Bear with his incident. So still the wrong side of the hill and now he's about three and a half miles away. Yeah so we had a 77104 in the CPT format and um, we were experimenting between 2781 and CPT with the two different radios on a slide mount and unfortunately CPT does not work very well in this area. Very low range. To such an extent that I remember my late mother trying to contact me and I was only a mile and a half away and she couldn't. And that was the the good side which is normally good for 30-35 miles. It just it goes to show there's just so much interference on CPT. It doesn't work for us. Which is why we do everything in this area. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, coming on the way, there's a illuminated triangle sign. Well, they've been splashing out. Back through the uh, national speed limit signs, back up the hill. Roger on that. Now we're uh, giving about S5, which uh, is par for the course. 
have we got planned for eats today? Roger, I'll, uh, when you get back here, I'll uh, go and do the same. Well, the bike's still parked up, but uh, there's no sign of anybody else. Oh, it's all exciting around here. Oh, they've moved down the side road towards Ancaster. Has the bike got bent? Is that what it's about? Not like when Lowell did a corker coming out of the junction. No, nothing like that. Then he climbed out of the wreckage and the police did a sobriety test. Well, he was dazed. <laughs> he failed the test. So presumably you've passed the quarry now at the top of the hill. Yeah, I'm just going through the traffic lights now. If I wasn't sneezing the head off, I'd be talking to you. Do you need the cabin filter changing on that car? That's a trouble when you live in the countryside. We're in the uh, middle of June, the fields are full of uh, various crops. I mean, if you suffer from hay fever as I do and the other Richard does. Uh, right, just passing the service station. Absolutely loud and clear. And then we'll end this uh, as you turn down the lane towards Tango Towers, Roger. Roger, If we just turn the squash down, there's some electrical noise in the background. Oh, it's gone. Glad about that. Well, back on Rookery Lane. Roger on that, that's absolutely fine. Right, I'll uh, catch you in here, and uh, that uh, concludes the test on the 77104D. Roger, D. You'd think the D version would be for Germany, wouldn't you? Well, it isn't. It's the late version of the UK. Those of you who follow our recordings, uh, we're just having a bit of a change here. I've managed to get a second-hand Panasonic uh, mixer here, which replaces our MX-10, which is low-band. This is a high-band mixer, so hopefully we'll be able to do some improved resolution by using a high-band camera with it. So uh, watch this space and uh, let's see. Thanks for watching.